So let us get started from the very first point that is the fluids in the human body. What is actually the fluid in the human body? Simple, the fluid in the human body is actually by definition, it is the 60% of the body weight. Whatever is the weight of your body, uh, the 60% of that weight is actually the body fluid. Means fluid is actually composing the 60% of your entire weight. Suppose, uh, here I got a body that is having uh, 70 kg. The weight of the body is 70 kg. Now, a question is asked to me, what is the body fluid now of this person? I will just simply take this person's weight. What will I do? Uh, I will take the percentage of this. Uh, because in the definition, we are told that 60% of the weight is actually the body fluid. Now, I am finding the body fluid. So, 60% of the weight, that is 70, is what? 0, 0, 0, 0, 6, 7, 42. So, I got the answer 42. In short, 42 liters uh, are actually the fluid uh, it is actually the fluid concentration of this particular individual who is having 70 kg weight now out of this 42 percent you know, 42 liters uh, weight uh, of the liter 42 liter of this fluid there is further division of this 42 uh, liter uh, this fluid is actually then distributed into three uh, further three portions the very first portion is uh, that is intracellular the very biggest portion of this, that is 28 liters, will reside in the cell uh, intracellularly. And then outside the cell, there is further uh, the remaining uh, uh, fluid distribution. How like? Very simple. Here we got the cell. So inside the cell, we have the fluid. Then surrounding the cells, again, we have the fluid. And well, if we talk about the humans, we will be having cells. And uh, between the cells, there will be the space. And along with that, there will be the blood vessels. So now what will happen? This fluid will distribute itself into the uh, space between the cells, known as interstitium, inside the cell and inside the blood vessel, called as intravascular fluid. So out of all these, uh, what will happen then? This 42 liter fluid will distribute into the cell, interstitium, intravascular. The biggest portion is in the cell, 28 liters. Interstitium, here, the portion that will reach will be the 10 liters. And remaining 4 liters will reside in the blood vessel, intravascular. Uh, this is actually called as a plasma. Plasma comprises 4 liter. Or one can say 4% of the body weight is plasma. 10% of the body weight is actually uh, interstitium, fluid, okay? And we need percent. Uh, is actually in the intracellular means inside the cell well I talk about a percentage and uh, you can also talk about the liters so in short fluid in the human body is 60% of the body weight whatever is the weight of the person 60% of the weight is actually the fluid now 70 kg is the weight of the person and if I just take the percentage 60% of this 70 is actually 42 so in this individual 42 liters will be fluid and the remaining is the weight. Well, 42 liter. Out of this 42 liters, 28 liters will go or will reside in the cell, or it is actually the fluid that is present in the cell. And 10 liters are actually liters. Uh, 10 liter is actually the fluid on in interstitium, and the remaining 4 liter is actually the fluid in the intravascular. Now, just sum up: 28 plus 14, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 42. So this is the entire uh, amount concentration of the fluid inside the cell and outside the cell uh, if we talk about outside the cell extracellularly we are actually talking about the interstitium and the intravascular portions so this is how the fluid is distributed in the body how to find the fluid and how the fluid is distributed we got two questions how to find the fluid in the human body how the fluid is distributed now 